Good morning, gentlemen. We have a maximum effort show this morning. 8th Air Force Command is sending over a thousand bombers to attack communications to isolate German forward elements, as well as on Luftwaffe airfields. The 4th is tasked with an escort of 24 B-17s from the 385th Bomb Group attacking the marshalling yards in Nott. We pick up the big boys here, just off of Sherberg, then proceed south. Once we make rendezvous, Caboose and Becky will cover the flanks in a thatch weave, while I'll take Cobweb up as top cover. The weather is not looking great, the mission may get scrubbed, but Command wants us to proceed anyways. Synchronize your watches. All right, engine starts at 0547. Good luck, gentlemen. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to DCS World as we continue the Debden Eagles campaign by Reflected Simulations. We are climbing up to our designated altitude. Today we will be escorting B-17s to their target area. We are rendezvousing over the channel just to the north of Cherbourg there. We should be approaching that relatively soon. And once there, we will provide top cover and Cobweb 3. I'm Cobweb Red two in this situation and flight leads just off my nose there we've been taking fuel out of our rear fuselage tank and it's time to actually kick it over to one of our drop tanks we'll start with the left hand drop tank there we go and i can probably throttle up just a little bit to catch up to flight leader tighten up our formation a little bit but wow this is phenomenal looking. All these P-51s contrailing early in the morning here. That is too darn cool. It's moments like this that uh, I'm really impressed with Reflected's work. It's just so immersive seeing this. One thing I do want to mention before things get too hairy is today I am flying this mission with the P-51D replica throttle by Authenticate. And Authenticate produces freeware throttles that are replicas of various warbirds and other aircraft and they were kind enough to send me one to fly with during this mission every aspect of the throttle works even the twist grip here and let's see if i switch to the gyro you'll see exactly what the twist grip does it actually controls the range for our k-14 gyro gun sight i don't use the k-14 too often uh, primarily because I am not the best with these gyro gun sights, but still, it's pretty cool. All right. And those are the bombers. Let's see if they're going to be running a little late. Look at that. Bombers on course, on time. We'll keep our eyes peeled for any bombers out there. I'm uh, sure it'll be hard to miss our big friends. But anyway, I will talk more about the Authenticate throttle at the end of the video if that is something that interests you. But I figured I would mention it now as they were kind enough to send me one. Okay, we are slotting in nicely, taking fuel from the left-hand fuel tank. Let's see. Okay, we have about 20 gallons back there in the fuselage tank, so that is good enough. That is a decent reserve to have. And now we just wait for our B-17 friends. Orange back to crew. Check your O2 max. We're approaching the rendezvous point. Anyone see the big boy? Negative orange back. Can't see a thing. Okay, I think I may have bombers there. Yep, there they are. Group of 24, I believe that's what we are escorting. 24 bombers to the target area. I am wondering if they are actually going to be able to drop bombs on target. This cloud cover is rough. There are two layers of clouds there. We'll see. Who knows how effective this bombing mission will be, but that's not for us to worry about. We just got to protect the big boys. We're going to maintain formation here, and you know what? Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to our other fuel tank, other external tank. Ahead. Yep, eyes on. There they are. Roger. Those are the big boys. White two. Give them a ring 
Okay, it looks like we're turning. Oh boy. <laughs> nice maneuver, flight lead. As long as I just remember exactly where he is, we can reform. Looks like we are now contrailing as well. And we will be providing top cover way up high. Other formations will be a little bit lower. There we go. Line up, get in formation here. Perfect. Oh boy, flags going up like crazy over the bombers. They are taking a lot of heat down there. Looks like we're avoiding the bulk of it. We've spotted some enemy contrails off to the east. Got them over there, co-altitude. We'll see, we'll keep our eyes on them and see if they turn in. We may have a high altitude fight on our hands. That would certainly be interesting. Let's check guns, guns are good. Armed. And I can't really make out what they are out there. They are way, way too far away. Oh, one thing's for sure. If we see them, they certainly see us. I don't know if they're closing. They may be. Very well could be friendlies as well. I need to throttle up, pour on the coals a little bit, and catch up to my flight. They're right off my nose here. It actually does look like those contrails are closing in on us. Looks like there's only two of them, though. Well, we'll see. If it's only two of them, I doubt they're going to have much luck. <laughs> That's for sure. Cobweb red here. They're gaining on us. My section is breaking off. We're going to chase those bogeys. Let's go see what we're up against here. All right, form up and pass by the B-17s. And we'll see if we can actually catch them. They are quite far away. Have another flight. Yeah, these are all Mustangs right here. 
Eh, two aircraft, man, way, way out there. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to catch them. I do want to bring it back 48 inches or so. 2,700. There we go. That should be sufficient. Those aircraft are either... Yeah, they're turning away. I was kind of hoping they were turning towards us. Who knows if we'll be able to catch on whatever they are at this altitude. All right. Let's do it. Uh, 270 MPH. Let's see, what are you? Yeah, I still can't identify them. Probably 109s. Way up here, I think. Let's see. Maybe we can trick them into getting into a fight here. Fuel is okay. Our left-hand combat tank there is uh, empty, though. It drains a little faster than the other one. Apparently, that is a bug. But if I switch over... You can see our engine will quit momentarily. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I goofed up the first time. That was very possible. Yep, there it is. <laughs> okay. Switch over. Our right-hand drop tank seems to have quite a bit more fuel, though. We're still utilizing that. If we get into a fight here, I'll probably kick my tanks. Although, it looks like... I don't think we're going to catch up to these guys. If I'm being completely honest. Looking at it, it looks like my flight did drop their tanks. So let's drop ours now. Let's arm it. Drop our tanks. Colgate, all aircraft bandits have been reported southeast of TA for King Angel 20. Whole bunch of bandits were just reported near King. Let's look at our map. Oh, oh, switch over. There we go. King. Oh, that's actually relatively close. We may be encountering them. The 109s are diving away, it looks like. There were a whole mess of bandits reported near King, which is kind of close to our position. Ugh, I don't think we're going to catch these guys, though. They're out of here. Smart Jerry's. Let's bring our throttle back a little bit. Okay, let's get back to the big okay we'll continue escorting. A shame. But not too surprising. Let's see. Like I said, just over the radio, we got a report of 20 plus bandits, so who knows. We are reforming and moving off to K4 King. The bombers are no longer being escorted by us. We are going to go investigate what is building up there, and we may have a fight on our hands. I'm going to switch over fuel tanks. There we go. And try to stay in formation this time. I've been lagging a little behind. Mainly, I'm just concerned about blowing out my engine after that chase. Uh, this is not where I would want to go down, this far away from the beach yet. There's my flight, though, directly off my nose. Let's pour it on a little bit. All these Mustangs are pushing out. Love to see it. Bandit spotted, 12 o'clock. That's a lot of 109s. 
Uh, <laughs> I don't like doubting it now. I'm gonna assume yes. see my babies are already dropped so we're good on that front can't make them out oh false alarm huh all right Howdy, boys. Alright, time to go home. That's what we call a milk run. Good stuff. We are about to be feet dry. Alright. There we go, crossing over into the UK once again. Perfect. Alright, now we come in for a landing after another successful sortie surviving over France. Yeah, we are doing A-OK -okay on fuel. <laughs> We're doing just fine. I don't know why I was as concerned as I was, but better to be safe than sorry, that's for sure. Well, we will continue on to Debden, and I will get back to you whenever we are landing. Well, here we are, home sweet home. Let's take a look at the windsock. All right, wind's coming in. Oh, kind of not the best situation for us, but we'll be okay. We need triple check, there's our flare. I can't even really make it out properly, but should be good. Okay, let's begin opening the canopy. Nice and easy does it. Really need to slow down. What's our airspeed? Yeah, over 200. All right, start dropping flaps, just one. There we go. Okay, canopy's open. Good. Gear down. There we go. Drop it. Okay, gear down. All right, we're going to be landing on that long, long strip right there. So the rest of the formation finally caught up. We're at 170. Okay, drop flaps. One more. There we go. Ready to turn in. 150. Throttle up just a bit. Hello, boys. There we go, looking good. Keep our eye on the prize here. And just don't stall out of the sky. There we go. All right, bring it back. Oh, gosh, there's so many buildings. It's so cluttered here. A little intimidating. All right, 140. A little bit of a crosswind here. Is less than ideal. Alright, there we go. 
killing off airspeed quickly. Oof, that was a little... Yeah, that was a bounce, I think. Oh, yeah, that was one hell of a bounce. Sorry, ground crew. Hey, that's okay, though. All right. Break, break, break. There we go. Don't nose over. Okay, you know, not our best work. <laughs> not our best work at all, but hey, we're down. That's what really matters. All right, let's go taxi off. Well, folks, that does it for today's sortie. But before I let you go, I actually wanted to show off the P51D throttle by Authenticit. The guys over at Authenticit have seen my DCS videos and saw it fit to send me one of their P51 throttles to try out and showcase during a sortie. Authenticit specializes in freeware, you heard that right, freeware flight sim equipment that can actually be 3D printed inside of your own home. Fear not if you don't have a 3D printer, however, because you can, in fact, purchase parts kits, which I'll get into a bit later. So once you have the parts, they are assembled without any soldering or drilling, which is kind of nifty as well. And you can head over to the Authenticate website and download the STL files for Spitfire parts, P51 parts, P40 parts, a whole host of Warbirds. They even have a BF-109 throttle which does sound kind of fun. And that's one of the appeals of Authenticate. They have so many replica sticks and throttles for all these historic warbirds, when it seems like everything else on the market is based on modern aircraft, which of course has its purpose, but as someone who personally mostly flies warbirds, this is an exciting prospect and a very nifty product. And very immersive too, like I was flying my P-51 in DCS, using this throttle and it legitimately brought a smile to my face. It is awesome. And initially I was kind of worried. I was like, oh, it's 3D printed, but it is quite sturdy as well. And it feels really good in your hand. Um, I don't see this breaking or anything at all. The kits are so sturdy and realistic, as a matter of fact, that they are even used by the RAF, which is pretty darn awesome. Like I said, I've been really impressed with the P-51 throttle itself. Everything feels good, even the twist grip, as I was demonstrating earlier in the video to range your K-14 gun sight. It just feels great and smooth. I mean, I'm seriously impressed with this product, especially considering it's freeware. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you have a 3D printer, which unfortunately I don't, it is something I've been looking into getting, and this is just another reason. I need to get into 3D printing. Um, it was also very plug and play. They have a hub, which you plug all of your cables into. It's very logically laid out. Everything's marked on the throttle where cables need to go, and then you plug it into the hub, and it works like a charm. Now, if you are like me and you don't actually own a 3D printer, you can purchase a parts kit from SimKit Supplies. They are offering a promotion until the end of March that will include everything you need to build your P-51D throttle. And all of that is included for $249 USD. Now, if that's something that interests you, certainly check it out. I will certainly be keeping my eyes peeled for future Authenticate products because if you can't tell, I'm actually legitimately impressed with it. I think it is very cool and it's awesome to have some more bird flight sim peripherals out there. So. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.